Hello everyone and welcome to this first look at Ubuntu 11.10, the so-called Oneric Ocelot. So this is the Beta 2 version of Ubuntu 11.10. So here we are at the login page. As you can see it's changed a little bit. So we just type in our password and hit enter. And here we are at the desktop. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's not really very much change and I think that is a pretty good thing um, after all the turmoil of the changes to the user interface for 11.04 I think Ubuntu have mainly concentrated on tidying up the desktop making it look actually a little bit more polished I think um, it definitely looks crisper um, I'm still not sure whether it's quite as crisp as Fedora 15, but it definitely has been lifted a little bit from 11.04. Let's take a quick tour of some of the changes here. Um, the first and main thing you'll notice is this Ubuntu logo here has now graduated down from the top corner, where it was a tiny little icon, to actually being part of the taskbar. Apart from that, it pretty much does the same thing, so if you click on it, we can search for any installed application. So for example, let's have a look to see if we've got Banshee in here. And there you can see we found it. You can do all the same things that you could previously with the interface, i.e. you can left click it and drag it over to your Unity taskbar and then release it if you actually want to add it into the taskbar. And obviously you can then right click in the taskbar and uncheck the key pin launcher, it will remove it from the Unity taskbar. To get in and out of this Ubuntu area, you can use the option key, otherwise known as the Windows key, okay, to just toggle in and toggle out of that. Um, apart from that, um, everything looks pretty much the same. The, some of the icons here, I think the software center icon has changed slightly, but it does exactly the same thing. Um, up at the top here you'll see that the file menu still appears if you uh, hover your mouse over the top here but only when there's nothing active on the desktop. Um, the menu bar across to the right has changed slightly but is very very similar so we've got uh, first of all our chat menu so this has been changed a little bit to make it a bit easier to do your general communication. So here we've got your chat status. You can go straight into your chat application, you can set up your accounts, you can go into your mailer, and you can get rid of any alerts that come up. Um, obviously I'm running on a laptop here, so this is my battery indicator. Um, I think this one is Bluetooth, yeah. Well, I obviously haven't got Bluetooth enabled. Our uh, network connections, I'm not connected to the network. Okay, our loudspeaker volume and uh, media player settings on this menu here. Then we've got our calendar. Unlike Fedora, you can't jump straight into Evolution and add your appointments though, so that's a little bit of a disappointment. Um, we've now got this additional menu which allows you to switch the user account to a guest session and to actually configure your user accounts. And then the logout menu, the icons change slightly, and we've got our normal logout, suspend, shutdown operations. But additionally, we've got things like printers, we've got the updater, um, we've got startup applications, which is quite useful to get to, and we've got system settings and displays. So I think that is a step forward in terms of user interface. It does make it a lot easier to get to some of those functions, and they are pretty commonly used. So that's about it for the desktop. I guess the only other thing that's had major changes is the software updater. So let's click on that and just give you a taste of what that's gonna look like. So here comes the software center. As you can see already, it looks quite different to the way it did before. So it looks a little bit more glitzier. Um, they've got this kind of splash page here where they um, feature their favorite applications. There's just so much software out in the Ubuntu Software Center at the moment. It is useful to really get a heads up on, on the latest things that are out there in Linux. Uh, again, you can click down here on the left to see different categories of software. So your accessories, your games, office applications. If you click on one of these applications, we've got the More Info button, which gives us a link to the developer website 
normally it has reviews and things down here this one hasn't actually been reviewed so quite a good amount of information down here of course we're not connected to the network here so I can't actually go ahead and do an installation this bar across the top looks a bit more like a browser you can go forward and backwards with these buttons so that's quite handy for navigating around the tool you can quickly go back if you're down in a category like this back to all software so up back up to top level we can look at what's already installed on our system quickly again this was a tab originally but they've just changed the look here so we can look down here and see what we've got installed on the graphics side what you get by default with a vanilla install of 11.10 and we've also got the history tab here if we click on here again they've changed the look and feel a little bit here but it's not huge but you can see here when it was installed pretty much the same way that you could before so that's a general overview of the software center um, it definitely changed the look and feel uh, made it a little bit more usable but not a huge step forward really I guess it's more of an evolution rather than uh, you know a seed change um, and I guess that really sums up 11.10 at the moment um, it's not a huge step forward but I think Ubuntu's done a really good job on this release. It definitely has lifted the user interface without really going to town and just redesigning it all. So I think users are going to be happy with it. Again, this is just the beta version and I've only been playing around with this for a few hours. So hopefully it's giving you an impression of uh, the full release that will be at your disposal by the end of October.